is a presentation of the ACC Network, an exclusive production of Raycom Sports. With the ACC season nearing its end, teams are making their final push to March Madness. Backdoor lob! Beautiful pass to Johnson. Today, Clemson battles NC State in a Saturday face-off in Raleigh as the road to Washington, D.C. continues. It's the Tigers and the Wolfpack on the ACC Network. Clemson's just two wins away from their best ACC record ever, and it still may leave the Tigers with work to do to secure a top four finish in the ACC. It's in NC State's DNA to know what can be done when you get to the ACC tournament, and that can take you to great heights in college basketball. We welcome you to PNC Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina, where it's Clemson and NC State getting ready to do ACC basketball battle late in this season. Steve Martin here along with Mike Jemensky. And Mike, this is the time, great urgency, getting close to the tournament, and now tournament position is all important. Well, for NC State, I mean, they're trying to get on a little bit of a run before the tournament, avoid having to play on Tuesday. And for Clemson, very much in the running for that double bye and also consideration for the NCAA tournament. Well, this is a game of personalities. We've got two of the best in the league here. First of all, for Clemson, Jerome Blossom game having a sensational season. Well, they're two player of the year candidates here. Blossom game, one of them. He's always been good in the pain area, can finish at the rim, but this is where he's expanded his game. He is now a very, very solid three point shooter at over 40. And look at Blossom Games numbers. You can see where he's taken it 17.5, over 50% from the field, and a solid rebounder as well. And of course, for NC State, Pat Barber has grown his shooting each year that he's been at NC State in his junior season, of course, at 23 a game. Well, right, and uh, fifth in the in the country at scoring. He is really dangerous. He's going to be the focus of a lot of defensive uh, intensity today for. Uh, for Clemson, and, uh, but he is a great, great shooter. He had 38 a week ago on this same floor against Wake Forest. There you see his average four and a half assists a game. The emotion that comes with the intensity of the ACC battle as it nears tournament time. Where you finish in the ACC tournament, all important. <laughs> ACC basketball is being brought to you by Food Line. Life's better with the Lion. By New York Life, keep good going. By your local Chevy dealers. And by Bojangles, it's bow time. 17 days away until the granddaddy, the ACC tournament from Washington, D.C. G-Men's cut down the nets. He spilled a few of those two. Big game today for these two teams. Let's take a look at our food line starting matchups with two big scores. There's some great matchups. Yeah, I like really Blossom game and Freeman. Freeman, their best defender from the perimeter. And then Barber and Holmes right here. Also a good matchup. But look for Barber. Uh, you know, I think that uh, Holmes is probably the best equipped to guard him. The problem could be I'm, I'm going to look to see if Blossom game takes Freeman outside and drives him, try to put some pressure off him on, on the dribble. It's a strange tip to the game. Barber gets it. NC State has it. They're in business first. There's Rowan. And a three right off the bat for NC State. And look at that matchup. He hits a three there, but Roper is guarding him. They might try to run Rowan into the post some with a smaller player. There's Roper on the way. Cody Martin has him. Into the post it goes. No go. Rebound comes to NC State. Here comes Barber. On his way in. Oh, what a block by Noko. A boom. Too strong on that. One big concern, and you can see why for Clemson. Transition defense, and Cat Barber is a one-man fast break when he chooses to be. 3-0, NC State just underway. About a minute gone here in this first half. Lawson game, keep an eye on him. Holmes can get hot and ties the score up. Statistically, Clemson is the better three-point shooter team. 
And that's an area that NC State's going to have to at least keep close. Both of them very good at getting to the free throw line. Clemson already with 194 threes. They had 171 through their whole season last year. Inside the turnaround by Martin doesn't go. Lawson game gets the rebound. Not by Grantham doesn't go. Well, th this is what Noko does so well. Just comes from out of nowhere and saves that play. Really a terrific defensive transition play on the big fellow's part. He just beat that ball to the yeah. glass. Yeah, no, he just got there in, in plenty of time and timed it well. Here's Grantham. Lawson game from the wing. Abu for the rebound. Yeah, I guess Freeman, like I said, he's going to do most of his work out on the perimeter. He bails him out, I think, a little bit, Steve, when he takes a jump shot. Cat Barber at work down the lane. Left that layup short. He was open. Believe it or not, he is better going to his left. And they want to try to force him right as much as possible. Over shot doesn't go. Rowan gets the rebound. Barber sets it up again. That's what Virginia did. I mean, you have to build a wall against this guy. He's so good at getting into the paint area that uh, you've got to have help in a lot of different ways. Clemson went away from that screen that a move set. Inside, this is going to be Leonard Freeman. And he gets fouled. You got two of the best in the conference in blocking shots here today. B.J. Anya yet to come into the game. Landry Noko getting the start. Clemson, one of the leading team blocks. B.J. Anya. We'll see him soon enough. Often enough. Freeman on the free throw line. Noko comes out. Well, they, they like to get him early rest, Steve, because he has a penchant for picking up early fouls. And if they can kind of spread his minutes out in the first half and get him to the half with only one, it really sets them up for a second half. Sidney Pate is into the ball game along with Josh Smith for Clemson now as Brad Brownell moves his lineup around. 4-3 NC State for the pair with one free throw from Freeman. Grantham's the guy they've got to get going. He's the one that, uh, when he scores in double figures, makes life easy. Smith can't get the shot to go. Martin to the front court. Cody's been starting the last eight games. And brother Callum will come in. Caleb will come into the game here. He's the better shooter of the two, the leading scorer of the, of the family. Rowan at work. Shot clock to 10. Here comes a shot by Cat Barber, doesn't go. Okay, if you can make him settle for that, Steve, and stay in front, uh, that'll be good defensive work by Clemson all game long. Tigers down by a point early on. Out and off on offense, defensive work for both. Jate with the left hand, it won't go. Abu with the rebound. A couple of deep post-ups that Clemson has gotten without any result. Noko had an easy shot early on. Here's Barber. Almost lost, but Abu has it. Abu has it. Now it comes down to Freeman in the lane with a drop step, but one step too many for Lenard Freeman. Let's take a look at our Ford keys to the game, our Carolina Ford keys to the game. Well, you take a look at it for Clemson. They have three-point efficiency. That's where they can put a lot of pressure on the Wolfpack if they start knocking down their threes. And uh, for NC State, they want to attack the paint. They were especially with Cat Barber getting inside, causing some mayhem in there and uh, picking up fouls. Grantham starts at the point. Into the lane, Jate trying to get a hand on it. Smith throws it away. Caleb Martin gets fouled as he went down the court. 15.42 left to go on our first half. Low scoring affair over the first four minutes. 4-3 or three NC State. You're watching the ACC Network, an exclusive production of Raycom Sports, also streaming live now on the ACC.com and on the official ACC mobile app. Let's take a look around the ACC from Progressive Insurance, Louisville has beaten Duke 71-64. And this is now a final. North Carolina, with their loss to Duke, they took it out of Miami today in Chapel Hill. And the half. 
second half action. Pittsburgh and Syracuse having a battle. And Florida State, our companion game to this one, 13-7 over Virginia Tech. And more action tonight. If Florida State can bounce back from that loss to uh, Georgia Tech the other night, then uh, impressive, believe it or not, that uh, Carolina-Miami game wasn't as close as the score <laughs> indicated. <laughs> that was 25 points. <laughs> Abu hands it off to Martin. NC State's missed his last six. Clemson's missed his last five. DJ Anya into the ball game now. Here's Martin. Caleb on the way inside. Made him go. Yeah, interesting, Steve, that they would choose to double team Anya big. I mean, I, he, he's, he's not the scorer that Abu is. I thought they'd let him play one on one early, maybe see if he can uh, you know, get something going. Grantham on the wing. Jate. Goes to his right with a hook. Abu contests the rebound with Smith and taps it off to Barber. You can see, look at Jate just shadowing Barber right there. Yo, Gabe, you guys got to keep moving. Smith got popped in the nose in that last play down, so there's going to be some blood there. We've got to get attended to. And the uh, Lawson game will come back in. We're going to bring both teams over now for an injury timeout. With 14.46 left to go in this first half. Today's coverage of ACC basketball is being broadcast on AFN, the American Forces Network. We welcome the nearly one million men and women of the U.S. Army, Air Force, Navy, Coast Guard, and Marines stationed around the globe in 175 countries and on the high seas. We're so proud to have you with us and hope you're enjoying today's broadcast. Yeah, Steve, uh, Clemson looks and we'll take a look at uh, where the, the, the contact took place. I think it was... It looked like it was, it was incidental, just right there, right when he was coming over. I think he probably hit his shoulder. But, you know, Clemson doesn't want to play at a fast tempo, and uh, Smith's going to have to go in the locker room and get that attended to. But uh, neither team, the, the NC State had that one run out, which got blocked that Barber had, but each team has had to play in the half court, and they've started off slow shooting uh, three of 16 combined for both teams. They're reviewing, also, they're reviewing something here. Reviewing the play there with the, to make sure that says yeah it wasn't any safe to make sure it wasn't a flagrant one it definitely wasn't a flagrant two. Tim Nestor came over and confirmed as much. How about next Wednesday night North Carolina NC State or Louisville and Pitt? Wow. A couple of games to choose from. Well, I know the, you happen to be. I know the fans love it, Steve, but the coaches are not a fan of this back-loaded schedule. Everybody, everybody's got a big game every game out. It seems like that's a nice way to prep for the ACC tournament, which is 17 days away. Into the low post. This is Anya. Holmes. He's done a terrific job on Cat Barber so far. The ball into the ball game. He'll attack. Lawson game knocking away the Barber last touched it, so it's going to be Clemson ball. This is the whole thing, and uh, this is what Virginia did. You have to keep him off the line. That's where he gets a lot of his points. Almost a push off right there. But Holmes with the quick hands gets the steal. Holmes, the junior, transfer out of San Francisco. Sat out a year. They have, got a big job today. Yeah, they have two guys in, in DeVoe and Holmes who I think are strong enough to deal with Barber. So they've got the luxury of having a couple guys who can defend him. Caleb Martin picks up the foul. Cody Martin comes in. Maverick Rowan will take a seat. He's had a quiet start. Everybody on both teams has had a rather quiet start. Well, uh, the thing, too, that Jate has to look at right now with Anya in the game with a shot blocker, if they get a drive, he's got to make himself ready to get on the offensive glass because uh, Anya's going to go after the ball. This is Holmes. Off to DeVoe. Watson game on the baseline with a boo on him. Inside, nice pass, and it works. Jate with a bucket on the feed from Blossom Gate. Well, he, he didn't go after it, but Anya was really focused on Blossom Gate. His eyes were on him. He lost track of where Jate was, and that was a nice pass by Blossom Gate. And she stayed by one. A 
Blue and Blossom gave a matchup. Martin out front for three. Well, and with, with the boo, and that was the one that the uh, NC State, that matchup is the one they were really concerned with. Freeman a little more better equipped to deal with him defensively. Kayla Martin with five points early, and we got an early foul on B.J. Anya. Committing a foul, frankly, I'll be on the three-point arc he probably doesn't need to make. Yep, and, uh, here's here's this uh, the matchup. Talked about his ability to shoot it. But uh, but you're right, Steve. But that's what they want to do with with Anya with his shot blocking. You want to get him out in space, run him in pick and roll. He doesn't move his feet real well, and he picks up cheap fouls, and you take him away as a shot blocker. Jate on a handoff to Holmes. Barber on him. Jate out front. Whoa! Jate from the foul line hits that shot. He's hit two in a row. That's uh, and, and almost at his average. You know the offense that he gives you is a bonus, but if they can get double figures out of him, that'll be huge. Cody Martin on the wing, pops it away. Turnover now for Clemson there, or for North Carolina State. It's going to be their third. Clemson Tigers looking to pick up their 10th win today, which they've achieved four times in their history. This will be the fifth. They've never been to 11 wins. Lost in game for three. He, he used to be strictly a, a pick and roll guy. Now he can be a pick and pop guy too, and really stretch the defense with his ability to shoot the three. Gives Clemson their first lead, Mike. The afternoon. You know why they they are where they are record wise. Too. They were really undervalued offensively before this season started. I didn't think people people didn't think they could score the ball the way they've been able to. This is a Clemson team that can do some damage, not only in the ACC tournament but beyond. But here's Anya with some damage underneath. The play got crazy underneath there, and the ad lib pass to Anya works. Yeah, and it's, uh, you know, Freeman that time was in the right place at the right time. That's where B.J. Anya is going to score the majority of points off of plays like that rather than direct post-up. Here's Holmes. Lawson game sets up Jate. And Jate, three straight field goals for the Clemson Tigers. You know, shot blockers will give you good position inside. See, they rely on their ability to get up and do that. Jate has got deep position. Caleb Martin hits the three again. That's his eighth point. NC State by two. You talked about it. Cody, uh, two of five on the year, but Caleb at 35%. Really a part of his game. Holmes on the wing. Barber watching him. It's a nice screen, but also runs into Anya. Jate out front, Grantham. Takes Martin in deep and misses. Anya boards the miss. Matt Barber. Trying to get himself organized and get himself in the scorebook to help his team. Barber, no points, 0 of 3 from the floor. What a feed from the post by Anya. Yeah, got that wing defender to turn his back a little bit. Caleb Martin is off of his 8th, his 10th point. It's a state by 4. game matched up with Leonard Freeman and he wins the match awesome tough shot that time and going anytime you go uh, go to your left and come back with the right Barber looking for his first entry into the book yeah, that, 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 that shot was going up coming over half court regardless of what was going on in front of him he is hungry to score right now I'm ready he had 38 in this hall last week just a week ago today to bowl for three you know, Gabe DeVoe is an either-or guy. I mean, he's had double figures five times and no points seven times. But if he gets off to a good start, he usually means good things. He's 27 three-pointer of the season. Runs him by one. Martin. That's Cody on the miss. The rebound, Jate, but he stepped out of bounds. Going to be NC State ball when we come back. Timeout on the court, but B.J. Anya makes no doubt about it. NC State trailing Clemson by one, 17-16 in Raleigh.
Special day here at NC State. Al Hartley, NC State guard, first African-American player at NC State. Also honored today, Trudy Lacey. Trudy Lacey, of course, was a member of the ACC 50th anniversary team. She was, uh, she was recruited here by Kay Yao, who was Debbie Yao, the athletic director's sister. Nice tribute there, Derek Wittenberg out there as well. And we're ready to get back underway, 926, about halfway through this first half, 17-16. Clemson in the lead. Type of battle we anticipated between these two schools. There's the pinch points right now. NC State getting the better of that. Thanks to the Martin family. Caleb in particular. Let's see how this offense operates with NC State without Cat Barber out on the floor. Cody Martin tries to find Caleb. He stepped out of bounds on his pass back to Anya, so it's going to be Clemson ball on the turnover. That's the fourth missed cue for NC State. And Steve, um, you look at, at Cat Barber. He had gone uh, the last six games playing all 40 minutes. So uh, Mark Godfrey being... Uh, <laughs> Give me a little bit of a break here. Good shepherd of the time. It, it, it won't be long, but that's we prefer. Up and under, Jate having himself quite an afternoon. Eight points already the for Jate. That graphic showed is the bench that's been doing the heavy lifting, and those are the type of fouls that you, as a big man, you really have to avoid. And Noko coming back in. Haviland is giving you a chance to win a VIP trip to the 2016 New York Life ACC Tournament in Washington, D.C. Airfare, hotel accommodations, and tickets to every session included. Visit the ACC.com slash Haviland to learn more and enter today. NC State starting to find the range now, thanks to this guy. Caleb Martin, shot doesn't go. Rebound comes off to DeVoe. Gabe DeVoe pushes ahead. Here's Hudson for three. Abu for the rebound. That's his fifth point. Martin out front. Caleb to the top. Here's Rowan. He's come back into the lineup for the Wolfpack. Inside Abu. Nice assist for Caleb Martin, his first basket of the game, and NC State trails by one. Uh, really nice interior passing that time. No weak side help. Here's DeVoe and Roper. The other guards handling. No comes back in. Roper's pass to DeVoe in the corner, deflected by Caleb Martin. Abu gets his first basket of the game in spectacular fashion. Got a timeout. Clemson up on one. Our power play is brought to you by Coyote Tractor. Louisville's Donovan Mitchell capped the Cardinals' decisive win over Syracuse on Wednesday. Reaching back with one hand to grab and slam this thunderous alley-oop jam deserves another look. The gravity-defying dunk dominate, uh, highlighted a dominant second half of the Cardinals. We went on to win 72-58. Here are your standings, and you put Clemson ahead of Duke because of what they did to him in the regular season. Yeah, only one game, and they so they've got the tiebreaker. Of course, Louisville not part of the equation. And you got it in Louisville, a big win over Duke today, and this is like their NCAA tournament, Steve. Try to conquer as many teams as they can, and, and when it's all over, they can say, well, we'll beat all you guys. Here's Martin. That's Cody with it at the top of the weave. Clemson in the lead. Rowan with a shot from the top. Anya! Oh, my! Yeah, those are the, like I said, those are the easy points that you have to not give up to him. And uh, Noko just, yeah, he had great offensive rebounding position on that play. And because uh, Rowan's such a good shooter, it was nice and soft, came off right in front of the rim. Lawson game, soft three, went in. His delivery, no panic. Just let it go, we got things handled, 22-20. Really is uh, incredible to see his growth as a player, what Brad Brownell and the coaching staff have done with this game. Noko with a nice block on Martin here is Rowan's shot. Abu with a rebound, Rowan with a second chance. 
Lets it back out. Brampton on the read run. Gets it back from Roper. Oh. He's got a highlight film here in the last three possessions. No, no question. And those are the type of plays that get him going. And, uh, you know, as a guy who wants to get a layup, you give it up to a guard quickly because you know you're going to get it back. What a finish. 24-20. A boo inside. Yeah, nice play by Blossom Game from behind to avoid the foul and get the block. Well, this is the uh, this is the offensive rebound by Anya. Gets it in there and just flushes it without even coming down to the floor. And good interior passing right here. Coming right at your rim. And then uh, the beautiful give and go. That's the perfect two-man, two-on-one break right there. Exactly how it's supposed to be run. Who picked up the offensive foul for NC State and sets Clemson up with the ball on a four-point lead. Grants it for three. Caleb Martin gets the rebound. And NC State has Cat Barber back into the ball game. Grantham trying to build a little momentum on that dunk. Ooh. Shots are flying after a cold start. Caleb Martin off the bench for 13. Now three of four from behind the arc. Five of six overall. Home set things up. Here's Blossom Game. Two great scorers to watch this afternoon. And here's one. High off the glass. Amazing. You saw him have, uh, you had uh, Barber have 38 here. Yep. He has not scored in this game to this point. Oh! Others are taking off the slack. Abu keeps NC State within a point and a timeout taken by the Clemson Tigers. 5.05 left to go here in the first half. Watch Abu. Well, NC State, Steve, has seven offensive rebounds, and that's something that Brad Brownell, I'm sure, is addressing right now in this huddle. He is not happy with the board work of the Clemson Tigers. Now, the Tigers have had some big wins. You want to know why they're closing in on 10 wins. Here's what they've done this season. They beat Syracuse at the Carrier Dome, which is no easy task. That was the one that started it. That was the one that got them going on that roll. And then, of course, beating Louisville made more important by what Louisville's done since. Big win against Miami. Now you can say these games are at home, but they're in Greenville. They're home away from home. Yep. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been a tough go of it. And then, of course, the, uh, the the win against Duke. They've got some really nice wins on their NCAA tournament uh, roster, you know, on the resume. But I still think it's going to take a strong finish. And, you know, they can't go out early in the ACC tournament. Now, why not think about a double bye? You know? yeah, yeah, that's your, that should be your goal right now. That's and your goal, and they very much, very much are in the thick of it. Lost again. Inside, off the glass for the second time. That time off Freeman. Clemson yeah. up by three. Off the dribble. They're going to have to have some people dig in and give him some help and uh, maybe give up a three look. Abu. Abu makes a great play. Off Jate knocks the ball out of bounds, and it's going to be NC State in possession. Cody Martin, Cody Martin comes in. Watch this. There's the look. You know, always, always a little risky doing that, but uh, saves the possession. You got still plenty of time on the shot clock with 20 seconds. 440 to go in the half. Side. Abu. Working on Jate, and this time he's fouled from behind by Blossom Gay. He got away with it once, this time he got caught. It's his first. Actually going to call it on Jate. Oh, wow. And, uh, I don't know how they were able to deliver that pass from that angle to, to Rowan, but he makes a nice feed. I thought that uh, Abu might have been forcing that a little bit, but gets bailed out on a foul. The free throw and now he's collected five here and all five of those points have come in the last two or three minutes to go with eight rebounds having himself a nice first half and so is Jate. one point ball game in favor of Clemson a lot of stake in this game especially for the Tiger and also in light of the fact that Duke has already lost today Here's Holmes, into the paint. Jate with a rebound, but he couldn't hang on.
Matt Brownell's team has done a, an excellent job this season of closing in on 10 wins. I think it really this is this is probably the tempo that they want to play this game at. It really hadn't turned into a, a track meet at all for NC State up to this point. They're figuring the fewer shots that Cat Barber gets, the better. The attention they assigned to him. The team will pick up this foul on Cody Martin. That'll be the third foul on Kate. The experiment has worked so far, but it may have come to an end in fouls. 3.53 left to go in a one-point game. Take a look at uh, Jerron Blossom game and how he's played in this game, really doing a lot for the Tigers. The nice pass there to Jate. And very quietly, Steve, he is uh, he's in the double figures, but he has not really forced his offense. Five of six from the floor and uh, two of three from downtown. So uh, you look at the two big stars right now. Really, uh, really shocking to me that Barber has not even scored in this game. 0 of five from the floor. And he's gone 16 and a half minutes, and the volume of shots has only reached five. Yep. So uh, two important points about Cat Barber, and that's one thing that Clemson has done well and kept him quiet. The ACC and your local Toyota dealers are unlocking the ACC archives where you can relive over 90 classic basketball games all for free. Visit the ACC.com slash vault. Brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. It's been interesting that Clemson, one of the better teams as well as NC State, of getting to the free throw line. Now that was NC State's sixth attempt, but uh, Clemson yet to go to the free throw line in this game. That's the eighth lead change in this game. NC State on top. right now for the Wolfpack. Oh, whistle and foul. The charge looks like a Cody Martin. When you talk about NC State and Barber not scoring and the fact that you're only you're up one on Clemson despite all that. Offensive rebounding. I mean that's that's the thing that's really held them in this game. Second chance points. Here's Grant uh, Blossom game on the move. What a block by Abu. And a High up here between Grantham and also by Rowan, and it's going to be Clemson ball on the possession arrow. There's some heavy action underneath. Elko. In the lane, nice move there by Holmes. Avery Holmes puts Clemson back on top. Well, Noko's got to be careful in the last three minutes of this half. He's got a foul. If he picks up his second, they're going to have to get him out and get Josh Smith in. Cody Martin out top. Throws to Abu. Back to Caleb Martin. And a foul on Grantham. Matt Brownell. He knew, he knew this was going to be a, a very tough game here at Raleigh. I'll tell you what, what you said about Greenville, though, but some of the wins they've had there, <laughs> that place, the, the, the well has been very friendly to Clemson this year. Little John's under construction. Here's Caleb Martin looking inside. 2.38 to go. Barber looking for a first point of the game, and he's still looking. Six misses. Abu with the rebound, but it points to what you exactly said. Offensive rebounds have been key. Cody Martin, nice move inside, and a nice finish. Yeah, that was time. It was not good. Not good defense by Blossom game. Went for the pump fake, and that really left Noko on an island. He knew he couldn't. Nothing he was going to be able to do about that dunk so smartly he stayed away from it. And the lead change in favor of NC State. No go inside and boy the efficiency of both teams in the paint here in the last 10 minutes has been significant. And they, uh, he likes to work with that left hand as well. Clemson 18 points in the paint. State 14 points in the paint for this play. Abu adequately defended on that play. Holmes in the front court. Here's Roper. Still looking to get things going. 
Watson game has had his game going all afternoon. 34 31. Uh, Clemson. You know what, Steve? Jordan Roper's the type of guy, if he's, if he's not getting his shots, he really it doesn't bother him. Uh, he, he'll do other things out there for you. Pass by Barber. Here's the boo. High off the glass to finish. A boo. 10 points, 9 rebounds. And we're not even at halftime. Clemson by a point. With the ball. Holmes blocks the game. Three doesn't go. Barber looking to make something happen. Well, they're just built the wall. There's been a lot of people helping him off the dribble. Noko boards the miss off the three. And we got a, a whistle and a foul coming up on NC State. That'll be on Cody Martin and coming up on the Hardy's halftime report. We'll have highlights, scores, and tournament talk. All that plus highlights and stats on the Hardy's halftime report. Only 17 more days till everybody gets camped out in Washington, D.C. for the ACC tournament. Because of, uh, because of Louisville's self-imposed span, uh, only two games on that Tuesday instead of three. Watson game in the corner. Tonoko in the post. Roper trying to rescue the possession. Six of the shot clock. Tonoko has to finish. Nice block. NC State shuts it down in the paint. Flatten it out. Maybe get a high screen roll or just let Barber go to work here. Barber gets tripped. We'll have a chance. That's the seventh foul now, and that'll put him at the line for one and one. Foul's going to be on Avery Holmes. But look at that. You get to you get to step up, and uh, Holmes just got his feet tangled up. Bernard Freeman comes in. Cody Martin goes out. Pat Barber goes to the free throw line. 194 made three made free throws in uh, the ACC. Steve, number one by far. Now there's good 17 of 20 against Wake Forest. He's not there a lot, but he also has some field goals to boot in that 38 point performance. I saw that a week ago. He was something. That's his first point of the afternoon, and that could let forth a torrent. 12th lead change of this game, NC State by one with 4.9 seconds and a half. Holmes for three. Freeman with a rebound in the first half is history. And a great first half down for a slow start. We had something like seven joint points here in the first four minutes. And both teams have really flourished since then, especially in the paint. It's NC State in the lead at the end of one here in Raleigh. 35, 34 over Clemson. ACC basketball is being brought to you by Haviland, official motor oil of the ACC. And by your Carolina Ford dealers. presents the Hardy's halftime report the four dollar real deal four items for just four bucks at Hardy's and we are at halftime NC State 35 to 34 we have two of the top three scores in the ACC at war this afternoon and one for the Clemson Tigers Jerome Blossom game has been all but advertised. He's had an outstanding first half. You know, and he really has not forced anything, Steve, which has been the big key to me, and uh, really just going to let the offense come to him, and efficient is another word that I think about. Uh, very unselfish right here. He plays out of the double team, gets his teammate Jute a nice layup, and then the ability, we've talked about him able to spread the defense with that pick and pop, two of three from downtown, and then, uh, you know, the nice move inside. He's been awesome, 14 points, six of nine shooting for him and then the defense with Barber they've really made it tough to get any driving lanes he's had to do everything in the half guard Avery Holmes has done a wonderful job on him man on man and this foul was the only way he scored 
at the end of the half by getting to the free throw line, maybe that gets him in a little rhythm. Now, if I told you that he only had one point at halftime, what would you think the score would be? Yeah, you would think that Clemson would have had to stretch it out, but uh, and NC State's bigs have, and, and Caleb Martin have, have really uh, put on a show. Outstanding by the bench for NC State and the bigs inside. Caleb Martin, one of his several three-pointers in this first half that has NC State up by one. NC State with a one-point lead on Clemson in our ACC matchup this afternoon from Raleigh. We've got two great games coming up on Wednesday night. Some of you are going to see fifth-ranked North Carolina battle Cat Barber and NC State in a triangle tangle that's sure to be filled with rivalrous fire. I didn't write that. Others will be seeing 18th-ranked Louisville led by Damian Lee as they travel to the Steel City for a showdown with Jamie Dixon's Pitt Panthers. North Carolina, NC State, or Louisville Pitt. It's coming up at 8 Eastern on Wednesday the ACC.com for the station and game in your area let's take a look at the standings of the ACC all the heavyweights at the top but boy there's quite a battle in there from Notre Dame all the way through uh, Pittsburgh and Clemson's right in the middle of all that yeah and it seems really going to be interesting to see how these last four or five games play out and I, I was really uh, it was good to see North Carolina respond the way they did today because that was a disheartening loss against Duke and sometimes you have a hangover after that rivalry game but they destroyed Miami Miami now has a big game coming up on Monday at home against Cor at Coral Gables against Virginia and uh, I, I like those two teams in the tournament I like North Carolina in the tournament because they're veteran they're deep with all the injuries it's going to be tough for Duke to make a long run in that group and don't sleep on Notre Dame either I, I think that could be your dark horse in, in that group that may be outside of the double bye. Uh, we've seen a lot of action above the rim in this game and NC State even though Cat Barber isn't scoring, B.J. Anya, and of course, Abu is doing it also. There's our halftime score, NC State, 35-34 over the Clemson Tigers. Interesting ball game. You got to wonder what gets going when uh, Cat Barber finds the strokes in the second half. Yeah, you wonder, you, you want to balance it. You wanna, don't want him to be too aggressive looking for his own offense as opposed to, you know, running things for other people. The one thing Clemson needs to address is that offensive rebounding of NC State. They've got to get bodies on people. Noko's got to be really careful early on because uh, Chate has the three fouls. They can't go to him early. I'll take a look at our game summary and look at some stats. Of course, Blossom gave a 14, Barber with two. These two teams started 14%. They've got a lot better from the field since then. Right. And, and you look at the, the thing that jumps out at me for Clemson, though, 10 assists on 15 made field goals, only one turnover. They've been very efficient, but they haven't been to the free throw line yet. Offensive rebounds, you said it several times in the first half, have been key to the NC State Wolfpack. Second half is coming your way, so stay with us. ACC basketball is being brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. By Geico, saving people money for over 75 years. And by Food Lion, life's better with the lion. As ever, Case, the man who set this league in motion, really, in, in many ways. No, and you know, we. To it. He created the ACC tournament. He created the old Dixie Classic, which was a great holiday festival. Um, you know, so innovative. And the steps he came coming from Indiana. Vic Bubis followed him down here, and well, he left a legacy at Duke. And uh, but uh, Everett Case uh, was really, you could say, the the father of this conference in and, many ways. And the reason why NC State dominated this conference in its early stages. The 2016 New York Live ACC tournaments right around the corner. Log on to the ACC.com. Visit the championship page for more information. March 8th. It's not that far away. You know, we're, we're February 20th. Where's the time go? And uh, this game has been fought inside. Landry Noko, of course, in the ball game, but uh, City Detay has had an outstanding first half. He's in a little bit of foul trouble. I think he's, I think he's uh, Noko's got to give him six to eight good minutes right here to just so they can feel good about getting Jate back in um, if necessary. And uh, you know, for for NC State to have the lead with Barber uh, only scoring a couple of points, a good sign. But uh, let's just see how quickly he gets involved in the offense here. I expect that to change. So. 
Rolling to Barber out front. Barber weaving his way through screens and almost doing a good job staying on it. He threw the ball away. Roper brings it into front court. Grantham. Big basket, and that was Roper. See it again. The guy hasn't scored, but so unselfish. That's one of the first really good rushes up the floor that Clemson has had, and they get a good look at a three. And if you want, if there's a guy they want to get going early, it's Grantham. He's got five. Brody Martin. Barber posting up on Holmes. And they take two men and shadow him, and they set up that wall with Noko. Clock running down again. And another steal. Grantham. Holmes will try a three. Oh, boy. Largest lead of the game. Maybe an early timeout here for uh, Mark Gottfried if this, if this particular possession doesn't go well. It's off turnovers. Big story in this game. Right now, Clemson tried to run a hide a little bit. Here's Rowan. He stops the bleeding. That probably stops Mark Gottfried from that time out. Yeah, no, it's, uh, that, that brings it back in. You breathe a little bit of a sigh of relief, and for Rowan, a good sign. You know, it's not easy to go through your freshman year. I'm sure his leg's getting a little tired at this point in the season, and it makes that three-point shot a little more difficult. Grantham. Clemson's lead is two. Lawson game. And Abu has a double-double now. Other people have stepped up with Barber not scoring, and Abu is one of them. Anya is another. And Caleb Martin. Here comes Rowan. Cody Martin gets the rebound. NC State maintains possession. You know, at the end of the day, Steve, that, that may be a, a positive that comes out of this game uh, with a win, and is that Barber doesn't feel like he has to carry the load every single day or night. Oh, we talked about the offensive rebound has been key for NC State. They don't get that one off the Barber miss. Clemson's back in business. Here's Roper. Takes the three and misses. Goes out of bounds. It's going to be NC State ball. Yeah, that was an ill-advised shot right there by Roper, but uh, here he makes a nice play and a good decision finding his shooter out in the three-point line. And then just spotting up. They're going to run in transition to the line, and uh, Holmes locking that one down. Gabe DeVoe comes into the Clemson lineup now. They'll take Grantham out for a couple of minutes. Coaching staff, uh, they wanted Roper to you look over and they, they made the little dribble sign, meaning put some pressure on him, go at him, make him defend instead of taking an early three. Well, Avery Holmes does not let Barber get out of sight. On him. Fans wanted him to take that shot. Here's Rowan at the foul line. All right, tough shot, too. It was like if you're NC State, you want to see Maverick Rowan come alive, and Gabe DeVoe had a hand in his face. That was not an easy jump shot. Once had an outstanding freshman year. 12 and a half points, almost 13 points a game. He's got eight now. A better defender than people give him credit for. Tough kid. Inside, no call. Gets past on you. Might have been thinking about him a little bit. Right. You're exactly right. That's what a shot blocker does. Even when he's inside you there, you're looking for him, and that distracts him enough to miss the shot. Barber goes to the baseline, and Holmes fouled him. A lot of contact between those two. Holmes, number 12. Second foul on Holmes. And he's going to get a rest. Hudson injection. Ty Hudson coming in for him. That's the thing is, Clemson has the luxury. They've got three bodies that they can throw at Cat Barber. And all of them had some success. And DeVoe commits a foul. Here comes Rowan. Cody Martin, but Anya is there to finish the possession. He's got six. They just had Clemson push completely under the rim that time, and uh, Anya had the easy finish. And NC State ahead again, and their bigs have combined for 16 points. And, uh, a nice, uh, nice job letting his team figure out a way to come back in the game when it, when it looked like uh, he was going to need a timeout. The ball at the top. They've scored six unanswered points since that time. Seven, actually. Here comes the shot. 
Three Haynes, and we got a whistle. Got a foul coming up. It's going to be NC State, and it's going to be on a boot. Watch this inside. Anya is there to finish. Our Duluth Trading Company hardest working player is, well, for NC State, Malika Booth. What a game he's had. Double double for him as 12 this season. Well, if you look at it, the thing that's impressive, Steve, about a guy to me is when his numbers go up in conference play, and that's what's happened. He's made himself available inside to penetration passes, and uh, you know, on the season, 12 points, eight rebounds, which were very respectable in their own right, but in the ACC play, that goes up to 14 and nine. Thompson with the ball, they haven't scored three and change. And there's a near steal, but Grantham recovers. Lawson game inside. Wow, Anya batted that away. Haviland is giving you a chance to pick this year's all ACC first and second teams. Log on to the ACC.com slash fan vote to cast your vote. And don't forget to check back and see who the fans are selecting. Well, you put uh, Anya and Abu together, it's 16 points and 14 rebounds and about three blocks. <laughs> Pretty good production out of that position. The vote shot won't work. NC State has the rebound. Harbor done a great job being the great diversion this afternoon. Huge screen by Anya, but still two Tigers get out on Barber. Is there any other kind of screen with Anya? <laughs> no, no, probably not. <laughs> Barber on the attack. Won't go, but guess who rescues the possession? Abu with 12. Yeah, he creates, he creates that play by completely breaking down the defense, and Noko really kind of hamstrung what he can go after. I get a kick out of Blossom game. He just kind of comes up and takes his shot from the top. Clemson's staying with it. 17 for Blossom game. That's his average. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a person in this building who, if you ask him how many points Blossom game has, they say 17. But it's so quietly and efficiently. Look at that block by Blossom game, too. And losing it out of bounds is NC State, so... All that work by Blossom Game works. And sometimes, Steve, when you're having that type of afternoon, like with, the, you know, like Cat Barber is, oh, that's a, a layup he'd make 99 out of 100 times. Exactly. But uh, there, again, his teammates have been there this afternoon to pick him up. The bigs for NC State have done a super job. Blossom Game. Who gets out on it? They score anyway. He's a tough handle. Yeah, that's what he needs to do. And that's, see, that's where his jump shot sets up his drive. And uh, that was the game. that was the matchup. They started with Freeman on him on the game, but now with Abu, that's the matchup that really concerned them. 15th lead change in this game right now. Rolling at the top. Here's Anya. Now they're trying to use it in reverse and get Abu at the end on the shorter blossom game. Rolling with the bucket. Another lead change. I was watching Barber in that possession. He stayed as far away from the possession as he could. Did a nice job. Bring that help defense over. Here's Noko. Foul coming up before the block by Anya. There's, there's the look. And you just see, you can't, if anything, you've got to force him to go left. You've got to sit on that right hand. That's where all the help was. But he is he's really just expanded his offensive game where he's so hard for other power forwards to defend. And the miss by Noko, but he's not getting an awful lot of help from other people today. He scored Clemson's last five points. Roper can quiet. Holmes is concentrating on the defensive end. You know, and the interesting thing, Steve, is I've seen them a lot, and he rarely gets exposed by other bigger players. Tied at 46. Here's Barber. See Holmes in the sleep. Abu at the elbow. Looking for Owen. Grantham doing a nice job there. But Owen gets free for three. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, it's rare that there is a freshman 
that can shake off a, a tough half of shooting. And uh, Rowan, men mentally tough that way, and uh, he's had a terrific first seven minutes here. 13 points, he's hit his average. No go to Grantham. And Rowan stepping in behind the screen may have influenced that minute. Yeah, that was a four shot that time by Grantham. Here's Barber. Set by Anya. Austin can't be sure Barber didn't get a good look. NC State by three, Barber. Here's Rowan with a shot. Oh, he's hot. And they are really looking to run him off screen, Steve. He ran off a couple on the baseline that time, and Brad Brownell needs a timeout. Yep, he's going to talk about where is 24 and who's going to shadow him. Rowan doing a great job. 15 points for the freshman to give NC State its biggest lead of the ball game. 51-46. NC State with a five-point lead, and a lot of it due to Maverick Rowan. He's gotten hot in this second half. They've really run him off a lot of screens, knock him down to three, and uh, Steve having a terrific uh, roll in this second half. 15 points, 6 of 12 shooting, 3 of 7 from behind the arc. 12 of those points has come in the second half. Lost a game at the top. That's trying to get it going again. What a block there by Abu. Force into that left hand, makes it a little bit more difficult for him to finish. Caleb Martin inside a boot, great block, no call. Oh, you see, it's a pretty good defense on both ends. Good block there. I don't know how much longer they could go without Jate. He was a reliable scorer for them in the first half. Grantham shot rebounded by no call. Good recovery there. He's, he made two nice plays on either end of the floor. And two reasons for that, too. He's got to try to keep. No go from getting into foul trouble, but the other thing, Jate is already in foul trouble with three. Barber at the top. Here's Rowan. He's passed to Anya, knocked away. Grantham to Roper, or rather to uh, DeVoe, and DeVoe scores. That's the one thing. That's the eighth turnover for NC State, and uh, Clemson has done a very good job capitalizing off of them. They've, been, they've gotten a lot of rushes up the floor. Close it to within one, 51-50. There's plenty of time, 11-06. Left in the second half, Barber. At work. Looking for his first field goal of the day. Here's a boo, and a foul on Bloss again. Well, this is the benefit of when you can get a block shot and keep the ball alive and get it to be really the first pass of the fast break. The Clemson Tigers making their approach on the NC State Wolfpack. The lead by one. Here's today's trivia question, courtesy of Duke Energy. Clemson has nine ACC wins. One of the most ACC regular season wins in Clemson basketball history. And you check with us later, we'll have the answer for you. It's a very important part of the season for the Clemson Tigers because if you look at the standings right now, there's a bunch of them at the top and all the way through to Pittsburgh. You know, and it's the, the shame of it is I, I wasn't a big fan of the in-season uh, ban last year that Syracuse had to endure, and I, I'm not a big fan of Louisville. But it takes the marquee team away from the tournament. If you're going to do that, do it at the start of the next season. But I just think it's unfair to the, to the young men that are playing on that team. Rob Brownell looking on, trying to figure out how to stop Malik Abu. He's now got 13 points. And working, and he's on a double-double. 52-50, NC State by a two. And uh, Jate is still we're almost at the halfway point in the second half. He is still not set foot on the court. I bet you if Noko picks up his third, you'll see him. Lost the game, turns, and hits. Six tie of this game at 52 all. So effortless, too. Right in this game. The best defender that Maverick Rowan has seen is Mark Gottfried, who has him out of the game right now. <laughs> and Barber at the top. Roper taking his turn on him right now. Oh, what a block by Noko on the attempt by Caleb Martin. Nine on the shot clock. Hey, I saw 
fourth block shot. There's Barber. Oh! That was a pass to the goal. It might as well have been. In, uh, in many ways, a missed shot has been NC State's best play in this game. They have a bunch of offensive rebounds in this thing. See how uh, Clemson reacts to this zone. Roper at the top. DeVoe for three. NC State with the rebound. Boy, Anya and Abu have played terrific basketball for Mark Archie this afternoon. Little did they know they would have to provide the scoring. Barber has no field goals thus far in seven. Martin. Nice pass from Caleb inside to Cody. State's lead grows to four. Philadelphia. Anybody out there gets that? <laughs> Brotherly love. Yeah. Inside, Noko got fouled as he went to the rack. The foul's going to be on Anya. That's three on Anya. Yeah, good swing of the basketball and a good follow in on the play. Landry Noko goes to the free throw line. Noko, 62% from the line. Clemson, better than average from the free throw line in the ACC this year. But it's, uh, what, yeah, what, better than that. It's historically, they're an all-time high. They're 76% as a team. But the thing is, Steve, that, that NC State has done a nice job keeping them off of the line. Yeah, they're two for three to this point. Noko with a pair, cuts the NC State lead to two. Nine minutes left to go here, second half. Barber. Two punts of Tigers on him, leaving Martin open for three. I love that play. You get the penetration from Barber, and then the follow behind by Cody Martin. It's a fifth assist by Barber, so he may not be scoring, but he's getting things done the other way. Helping his teammates score. DeVoe. Lost a game in heavy traffic, but a foul coming up. Going to be on Martin, I think. You know, see, but I see a sense that Clemson's offense is bogging down a little bit right now. A lot of it has just been lost in game trying to create off of the dribble. Of course, the uh, the fans, the, the referees just love to replay on the jumbo try. Lost the game on the free throw line. 78% free throw shooter. Has 22 to lead all scores in this game. Still four games, so four points back. Foul on to Caleb Martin. Blue with 15 rebound. 15 and 15. He had 16.17 rebounds against Duke. Well, the guy that got going into the zone, they got to keep track of Caleb Martin, but throwing out of the game as far as three point shooters are concerned. To take the three guard. Roper was all over. But see, that's where the size difference comes in. It's 6 7. Martin able to just play over the top of Roper. Lost some game inside. Noko with a rebound. Here's DeVoe. Roper at the top. DeVoe on the attack. Gets it off the window. By DeVoe. Good job that time. We have to do the attack. Seems in the zone. Do it in the drill. That's a good finish. Seven points. Now Clemson has to... They've had to replace a lot of offense. Roper hasn't scored much this afternoon at all. There's the steal. Roper may get one here. The up and under go. First two points. Three-point ball game. And that's where when Clemson's been in the half court, they've struggled in the second half. Most of their scoring has been out in the open floor off of steals. I kind of thought that Clemson wanted to kind of cut this court in half. Said Mike has enjoyed more of their success. And they've been able to run off. Nice pass inside. Anya scores, and the pass from Abu plus the foul. The Wolf 
Pack faithful are loving it. NC State's bigs looking big. We'll be back after a word from your local ACC station. You're watching the ACC Network, an exclusive production of Raycom Sports. Let's take a look at our Haviland Player of the Week. Demetrius Jackson, junior guard for Notre Dame, had 22 points and four assists. Some big road wins, one at Clemson and then Louisville at home. Our freshman of the week brought to you by Haviland is Brandon Ingram from Duke. He had some big games against Louisville and Virginia and got a start on next week's award with a big game against North Carolina. Well, I, but I don't think uh, any doubt that he'll be the freshman of the year in the conference this year. No, I don't think so. It's interesting that you should say that. On you with the free throw. And we got a whistle and a foul on Jate. Just knocked Caleb Martin all the way to Rome of Rapids. No, it's a lane violation. No foul. But Anya will be back to take one more because of Lawson game with a rebound. And Anya back to 39% at the free throw line. So end game situations, you've got to foul him, make him earn it. Six and a half to go. Clemson down by five. Here's DeVoe. Roper was a little surprised to get that thing in the corner. He leans in. Good defense by Caleb Martin and Anya with a rebound. Well, either Caleb or he's, he's been playing against bigger guys all game long, and I think it's been frustrating. Here's Barber on top. Those are watching him. They've moved home off of Barber. They got him now on rolling. It was pretty noisy. Early, he takes the shot. Jate gets the rebound for Clemson. Trying to find that pilot light right now for Maverick <laughs> Rowan. Devoe to Holmes. Here's Blossom game at work. Shot was blocked, but there was a foul before the block. And the foul's going to be charged to Leonard Freeman. His first. We talked about his ability to put it on the floor and uh, finish in the block, but... Without without his improved jump shots, he would be able to play three or four feet off and give him a lot of room. He can't do that anymore. He's had an excellent afternoon, but he hasn't had an awful lot of help. 23 points now for Jerome Blossom. Blossom game. Yeah, that, that second or third scorer has not emerged. So he's the only one in double figures right now. Jate has eight. Holmes has eight. A pair of free throws for him has 24. Three-point lead for NC State. Abu comes in. Freeman goes out. Malik Abu. Malik Abu has had a outstanding ball game this afternoon. Here's Barber. Going left. His first field goal of the afternoon. Yeah, you talk about great players. Uh, they can... Uh, they can put behind them 35 minutes of an off game. It was 0-9 before that. But the last five minutes could be very different. Loss in game. Caleb Martin on the rebound, and here comes NC State. Armour with some wind in his sails now. Clemson switches Holmes back onto him. He did a great job on him in the first half. Under five to go. On the wing, Caleb Martin. Watching that, they were switching every screen along the baseline, trying to keep a body on Rowan. Yeah, they made him quiet. Holmes at the top. Barber gives him some room. Blossom game on a move. What a finish by Blossom game. That's against a bigger guy, too. And uh, that, that little jump hook gives him an ability to get the shot over a taller opponent. 26 for Blossom game. 6-63, NC State by three. Trying to work that high-low action to get a boo with some, some, a space inside. Rowan, guess who's back? Yeah. That's all it takes, two. 18 points for Maverick Rowan. Roper at the top. This is NC State's biggest lead. Holmes for three. 
Caleb Martin has the rebound. Under four. He sets the screen. Blossom game will have none of it. Anya. Bodies fly when he takes it into the lane. The tip is good. Well, they, they basically let Anya alone that time in playing that screen and roll. He made him pay. Clemson's going to take a timeout as NC State has their biggest lead of the game. Malik Abu scoring. But this man who leads the ACC in scoring just scored his first field goal this game. Get in the zone, auto zone, and Maverick Rowan has been in some sort of zone today. And, uh, you know, like I said, he struggled early in that first half, but second half came out, got things going offensively for this team, and then uh, just kind of just hit his last shot, too, Steve. 7 of 14, 4 of 9 for buying the arc, 18 points. Standing game for Maverick Rowan. There are the numbers, as you said, Mike. Four three pointers on the afternoon. One of the reasons why State enjoys one of its, its biggest lead of the game, eight points. Time to waste it for the Clemson Tigers. If they want win number 10, it's time to get it now. Lawson game. Zipon has 28 points. They're going to, you know, they'll, they'll accept the drive from him. They're going to play up on him, drive him off the three-point line, make sure they stay at home out of the perimeter. Next leading score is Holmes with eight. Caleb Martin, the Barber breaks the double team, breaks it down off the dribble, but can't finish. Jate off the miss. He had all he wanted. Here's DeVoe. Pretty nice job, NC State, of getting back in transition, stopping the initial run. Lost his game, and he is fouled by Abu. That's going to be three on Malik Abu. This is what Clemson needs to do at this point, is attack the rim, get fouls, slow the game down, slow the clock down, and see if they pressure up a little bit more, too. Lawson game. There's the shot. Well, earlier in the game, we asked a trivia question, our Duke Energy trivia question. Clemson with nine ACC wins. One of the most ACC regular wins in Clemson basketball history. Four times, ten. They're hard-pressed to get a fifth time today. Download more ACC trivia powered by Duke Energy in your app store today. So they're going to go offense for defense. They'll get Anya out of the game right now because of that 39% shooting. Bring him back in in defensive situations. And now you get some, a little better offense and play four around one with a boo in the middle. Lawson Gaines got a he's matched his career high with 30. Three one zone with Grantham out front now by Clemson. A little different look. Caleb Martin to Martin. Or rather to Barber and it's stolen by Grantham. Maintaining control by Holmes. That's the length of Grantham out front in that zone paying dividend. Lawson Gaines score the bucket. A new career high. And Clemson now is just two points back. See, this is where a team like NC State is, that has lost a lot of close games late. This is where you got to keep your resolve right here. And no better way to get back into the game than scoring three points the old-fashioned way is to get to the clock stop. Awesome game. Has hit the last 10 points for Clemson. He hits that one, now has 33. Each one is a new career high and cuts the Clemson deficit to one. NC State had an eight-point lead, seven on injured points now. For the Clemson Tigers, and all of them. Jerome um, Blossom game. We've got a timeout taken here by NC State. With 2.11 left to go. Here in the second half, NC State would like to pull off a rather significant upset. Let's take a look at your ACC headlines, and right now, a typical ACC season as teams rise to the top. you got six ACC teams in the top 25. Some pretty good customers up there with North Carolina, Virginia, Miami, Louisville. And Duke, of course, with a big win over UNC. Yeah, that was uh, an amazing game to watch, uh, to see them basically do it with five and a half players in 17 days until uh, going up to D.C. for the uh, ACC tournament. 
Louisville puts their imprint by beating Duke today. Well, it's bow time, so that means we're checking the Bojangles fan of the game, and there they are. Look for them. At an establishment near you. Here's Barber up top. And your wife Fabio was at the game. <laughs> he is Barber in the way. Barber cannot buy a field goal. The rebound comes away to Jate. Here's DeVoe. Here's the three. Grantham can't get it to go. And a foul coming up on Caleb Martin. Martin saw a chance and tried to tip the ball ahead. Had he been successful, it would have been a fast break. And it's it's amazing how quickly in the last two or three minutes the momentum of this game has completely turned. And it's a foul right there. That uh, look at all you see four white jerseys. Everybody's buried underneath. Nobody outside for the long rebound. The referees are checking to see with Avery Holmes. How much energy has he expended in this game, Steve, guarding Cat Barber? Well, uh, they, they tried to give him a little bit of relief. They put the ball on him a couple of times. They put Roper on him. And now it's all his. Now he's on the free throw line. Up for one and one. Misses it. The rebound comes away to Rowan. Huge miss on the front end of the one on one in this situation. Little brought Clemson all the way back, but NC State with 90 seconds to go. They have had issues with this 1 3 1. Here's Rowan. Oh, who's got issues? That was a two, a long two. That man is seeing a big basket right now. 20 points for Maverick Rowan. 73 70, NC State. You don't have to go for the three here. Plenty of time. Here's Holmes on the baseline. We're getting down to the final minute. Ten on the shot clock. The three. No. Holmes with a miss. Caleb Martin with a rebound. And NC State has the ball back. And we've got a foul in backcourt on Grantham. Yeah, interesting to uh, make that decision. Although Clemson now, that's only their fifth foul. They've got uh, two more to go before they get into the bonus. And a lot of good things today. Uh, it's just to come back to have that. You can see uh, his feet inside the line, but no bigger jump shot in this game so far. I don't watch him pregame warmups. He, he missed his first layup in the layup line, and he would. I thought he's going to shoot himself. <laughs> he was beside himself. And it, and you talk about how sometimes it catches up with the freshman. I thought it probably would have caught up with him. Okay. 16 foul now on Clemson. They're trying to get into a situation where they get an opportunity to maybe put NC State on the foul line, possibly for some misses and get some rebounds and get some more possessions on their own. Well, interesting. They just wanted to get to the point where they could get into the penalty, but they're not fouling right now. Caleb Martin. The Barber, good control of the ball. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Cat Barber in the lane, up and under. A foul, however, will put him on the line with 24.4 seconds left to go. NC State on the verge of doing something special late in this ACC regular season. Barber on the free throw line. Game. You know, he's had a game without scoring points this afternoon. He got to the foul line where he's been pretty good. But he's drawn the attention. He's distributed the ball to teammates. And boy, have they scored. Who would have, who would have thought a, uh, a one from 12 outing for him? But two clutch, three free throws there. And five assists. NC State by five. 20 seconds to go. Clemson's got to play fast. Here's Lawson game, no good. Chate with a rebound, got it. Three-point game, one possession game, 10 seconds. And a foul coming up quickly. You're going to see a lot of Cat Barber on the line as Roper picks up the foul. Still not in the double bonus yet, so it's still in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Cat Barber 
looking at an 86% free throw count. Mark Godfrey has watched his team perform admirably. Barber with the front half of a one on one, a four point lead with 9.2 seconds left to go. It's going to be a timeout to Clemson here. As Brad Brownell hoped he wouldn't be in this situation, but here it is. Well, Abdul Malik Abu has been a man in this game on both ends of the floor. Really gave them an offensive lift in the first half, Steve, when Marvel was struggling. He and uh, uh, Caleb Martin were kind of carrying things, but uh, man, a move 17 points, 16 rebounds for him. Not the first time that's happened. Our performance of the game brought to you by your local Chevy dealers. Now, I know, I know in this particular instance, NC State fans wouldn't agree with me, but I'd love to see the rule where you can advance the ball to half court like the NBA has to, you know, to just not eat up that clock, make the end of the game a little bit more exciting. I know there are some that say, well, then you're just kind of penalizing good defense, and that's it's the penalty you have to pay bringing the ball up the court. I could go on forever about that, but I won't. But I, I agree with you. Here's the situation on the fouls. We're still two away for each team on the double bonus. But I, I thought some really, really good mental resolve for the Wolf Pack. Because Clemson was making a charge, and they've been in enough situations where they've they've lost leads and they they really stiffened their back and made a made a nice stand. Been a great game between these two teams with 9.2 seconds left to go. Clemson had a lot on the line today. NC State maybe not so much, but NC State's history in the ACC tournament is well paying attention to, especially when you look at this game today. And that, you know, first or second, yeah, NC State could be a very dangerous team. Here's DeVoe. Five-point lead. They'll let him score, but he can't. Jate gets the bucket with 1.8 seconds left to go. They'll try to press here, and now they will get it. As Grantham takes a hard foul on Barber, Barber will go to the free throw line. Frustrating day for the Clemson Tigers. Take a look at the standings in the ACC and how important this game is, especially to Clemson. But Clemson still, at, with Duke losing today, they hold the tie break with them since they won the head-to-head. -head. So they stay ahead of them in the standings. Uh, Notre Dame, uh, you know, Georgia Tech's got to be feeling pretty good about themselves after the last game that they played against Florida State, so that will not be an easy game tonight. Now they played very well against Florida State. Barber. That's his first free throw miss and set of the Long court pass, that'll do it. And Mark Gottfried and NC State prevail over the Clemson Tigers. A three-point victory, 77-74. ACC basketball is being brought to you by Geico, saving people money for over 75 years. By Hardy, by Coyote Tractor, and by your local Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. NC State wins by 377-74. Mike Jorinski is standing by with Mark Gottfried. Thank you, Steve. Uh, Mark, first of all, in a, in a game where Cat Barber really struggles to score and was not his usual self. Uh, how, how did this team manage to pull this win off? Well, I'm really proud of our guys. Cat struggled today, like you said. That, that's, uh, he hadn't had many of those. And uh, I thought Caleb gave us a great lift in the first half. I thought Maverick in the second half. And then I thought the other difference was the way we rebound the ball. We got offensive rebound baskets. We had a lot of putbacks for buckets. So we were able to kind of overcome the fact that Cat wasn't scoring by doing it some different ways. And uh, Malik Abdul uh, Abu really, he's, he has been, he's really increased his game in, in ACC play as well. Double-double again for him. Well, he's playing hard. He's getting better. He's just a sophomore. Um, 
you know, he's always around the rim. When he goes to the offensive glass like he does and did today, I think it changes his game. So he did an excellent job of that today. And you mentioned Maverick too, Rowan. He struggled in the first half. And for a freshman, sometimes it's not easy to come back from that. But uh, he really gave you a lift offensively. Well, Maverick's got a lot of confidence. And uh, he doesn't lack that. And I like that about him. And so we went right back to him. And he made some big ones. Then he got on a roll. And I thought that helped his helped his confidence and Caleb too I thought those two guys Cody gave us great minutes too as well as a as another kind of penetrator that can make some passes and uh, we just can't afford very many nights when cat doesn't play like that but we were able to escape tonight with it well congratulations on a good win Mark thank you, thank you. back to you Steve our next telecast is Wednesday at 8 Eastern the number 18 Louisville takes on Pitt. others will see number five North Carolina down the road in Raleigh to take on NC State you've been watching coverage of Atlantic Coast Conference basketball on the ACC Network an exclusive production of Raycom Sports